That's my edit and Donald Trump shared it. Not only did he share it pretty quickly, but I also got the edit done in less than a day. And here's how it went. After they were done filming, they called me up and gave me a very detailed explanation of how the format of the project is going to go. And they said that they had a specific person in mind to make sure I put up front because it was a very good interaction to use for the video and you're about to see that. I found the clip and all I had to do was look through and pick out the sections I wanted to use to kickstart the entire video. Nikki Haley's never come back to help you? No! Yep, that'll work great. And of course, I wanted to start with a bang. Nikki Haley's never come back to help you? No! Welcome to Bamberg, South Carolina, Nikki Haley's hometown. Nikki Haley talks a lot about Bamberg, typically not good things. She says this place is a horrible racist place where she was treated racistly her entire upbringing. We were the only Indian family in our small Southern town. I was teased every day. And as you could probably guess, there's gonna be a good bit of memes especially in the front section. For being brown. On how hard it was to grow up in the deep south as a brown girl. You sure about that? And you guessed right. We're here to find out if the people of Bamberg are racists and if they support Donald Trump or Nikki Haley's globalist policies that really steal and destroy from a place like this. Little, small American towns are the heartbeat of this nation. We're gonna find out today. Let's go. And something cool I did to this track is I actually downloaded the stems so I had free range for the most part on the types of instruments and what I wanted to use for the beat. Nikki Haley often says that this is a place where she was treated very racistly, that people were very mean to her and she's the victim. Have you seen anything like that? Are you, are you a racist? No, 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 sir, no, sir. Nikki Haley go flip flop. One minute is this, one minute is that. We already know what the sister race thing is in this city right here. It's pretty decent. The folks that I know are pretty decent. People have been really nice to us. Everybody that runs this so far is really nice. And if you're wondering what I used to color grade this, it was Color Finale Pro V2. Since it had to be done so quickly, I pretty much just added a simple grade to it and nothing super crazy. Nikki Haley on the campaign. She regularly talks about how growing up here, she was treated so racistly and people were so mean to her because of her race here. Have you experienced any of that in Bamberg? I have. I have. People seem really nice here, actually. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Nikki Haley has been out on the trail, on the campaign trail, saying that she was, when she was raised here, she was treated all racistly and everyone was so mean and to she her. She was treated racistly. She treated us racistly. No Nikki Haley. That's an interesting. <laughs> she ain't getting no black people nothing. The man is nothing. Bye. Thank you, sir. Yes, a very good interaction to use. And of course, it's been silent for a little bit. For comedic effect, I had to hit hard with a bang once again to help move on with the section. And I did that by turning the music volume up and then adding a couple keyframes to later on lower the music down whenever they start talking. Nobody's a racist around here, man. My wife went to high school with her, and I knew her from when she had that store here in Bamberg. So your wife went to high school with her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so all these stories about I was treated so racistly and everything, like That's your wife. Crap. Nikki Haley, when she's out on the campaign trail, she talks a lot about racism and her racist hometown and how people were so mean to her. I, I don't pay any attention. You haven't experienced anything like that? No. no. Have you experienced that in your growing up? No, no. I Is that a Piggly Wiggly store in the background? I think the racism thing is far overplayed. What do you think? Donald Trump negate. Donald Trump. Yeah. Donald Trump 100%, buddy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Trump. President Trump. Trump. Yes. All the way. Let's go, Brandon. No. <laughs> Donald Trump. Yes, sir. America first. Yes, sir. Yes. And you'll notice there's a lot of cuts with the music that really bring out that comedic effect whenever a person says something that you want to bring focus to. And it's done a lot in these types of videos. I think that voting for Haley is a wasted vote. I think Trump's going to be the nominee. And so it's probably who to go for. Rolling with Trump. Rolling with Trump. All right, my man, America first. That's right. Donald Trump or Nikki Haley? Donald Trump. Yes, sir. And now building this out, this was split into different sections. And so this next section you're about to see 
was actually in a different spot initially, but then later on we decided to move it and structure the video out a little bit better so it suits it well. So we got through the first couple questions and then the last question will be after this. Everywhere we go in Bamberg, people tell us, man, you gotta go check out what's happening downtown. Not in a good way, in a bad way. Here you can see just the complete dilapidation of the city. Now, to be fair, there was some really heavy winds and a very strong storm that blew through and caused some damage. But what you can see here is a hometown that has obviously been forgotten about and utterly neglected, destroyed and ignored by the leaders and the people here in this place. And as you can tell, this section is pretty straightforward. He's explaining everything and there's a lot of B-roll and stuff put over it. People like Nikki Haley, who's from here, who's governor of this state, there haven't been bi businesses in these buildings for decades. And this is historic downtown Bamberg. And what you're really seeing is a ghost town. And while there might've been some damage done by a storm, the true damage was done by the politicians who neglected this place, forgot about this place, and who sold all these jobs to communist China. And the person who was responsible is the hometown hero here, Nikki Haley. And of course the volume went up because of the keyframes and then it cut on beat to the last question of the video. What do you think about Nikki Haley wanting to give hundreds of billions of dollars to foreign nations? It seems like Bamberg could use some help. Yeah, exactly. Bamberg and the United States. America first, right? Yeah, I don't see why we're sending all this money to other people. Yeah. That make good sense. Yes, that's right. I need it just as bad as they do. Why you got to go over there another cut the fuck? Yeah. Are you explaining over here in America? Yeah, I was looking around. Look how everybody, look how we living. America first, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, you know, Nikki Haley, you go spend a billion dollars in another cut the Nikki Haley's never come back to help you? No. <sighs> By the way, if you're wondering how this camera stabilization or tracking, whatever you want to call it, I use it all the time and that effect can be achieved easily, pretty quickly with the plugin Stabilizer 2.0 from Pixel Film Studios, if you were wondering. I do construction work. I'm the owner of Green, I'm Green Masonry and I we did some repairs on Main Street already and for that street to be closed for this long period of time, I mean, something should have been done. Really, we are, we are in the middle of everything. Now you have construction workers all around here. We could have been to come in, get that thing to be rolling, and open Bamberg back up. Let Bamberg be Bamberg again. We don't need to be sending money elsewhere. It needs to stay here. Yes. We need to find a cure for cancer. Money needs to go towards that. Yes, that's exactly right. Yep. What's your message, Nikki Haley? Final, final message, Nikki Give Haley. up. <laughs> Tax dollars definitely need to go towards American infrastructure. Um, there's definitely there's definitely a call for that to happen again throughout this video was pretty straightforward as far as the editing goes because it had to have such a quick turnaround but there were still the memes and funny comedic effects like the tracking that was added throughout America comes first but we can still help people we're a huge country we got a lot going for us but we can't let all of our resources go to everybody else. We can't, we leave ourselves wide open. Now on to the last section of the video, which is a little bit different from what you've seen already, but transitioning into it, I added a title and turned the volume up with some B-roll shots to move into that section. The family restaurant that's been here for 70 years. We were, it was like in the middle of a ghost town. This is the only place that is still open. More keyframes with music. My name is Benny, what was your name? My name is James. James. And you are the owner of this, owner of proprietary of this fine establishment. Yes, sir. Well, yes, sir. Me and my wife. Things aren't doing as well as we like for them to be doing, but we hanging in there with it, you know what I mean? Downtown here has gotten a little rougher. A whole lot rougher, that's right, right, right. Well, politicians are supposed to be responsible for taking care of their communities and making sure that buildings don't collapse and don't fall in. Somebody who's from here and talks about Bamberg a lot is Nikki Haley. Has she helped out politics aside? Has she helped out Bamberg? She's a pretty powerful person. I, I, I know of. If, if, if she has, I hadn't seen what was happening yet. Thank you, sir. You yes. Y'all stop by. Yes. Again, volume up, more B-roll transitioning into the outro of the video. 
And then I'll tell you a little bit of how I figured out how to get this done and sent over in just a few hours. So we were just in the final store in Main Street. The people of Bamberg obviously deserve better than what their politicians have delivered to them. And it's amazing how Republican or Democrat, whatever, they all said the same thing. America first. Donald Trump, Joe Biden, doesn't matter. America first. That's what these people want. So yeah. Did you notice that J-cut? No matter where you are in this nation, no matter where you come from, America first. That's the winning message. It's your boy Benny from Bamberg, South Carolina. See ya. So how did I get this done so quickly? Well, it's actually pretty simple and I used keyword collections to my advantage. I went through all the footage and I selected the specific sections as far as for the questions and categorized them. Now, if you click I and O as in and out on your keyboard, that will let you select the section in the clip that you want. And if you click Command K, a window will pop up and you can type in whatever you want to call your collection and it'll add the clip to your keyword collection once you press enter. And so I did that for each question. Then when I went to go put the timeline together, I had all the questions there and I could just drag and drop into the timeline and add the music and all of the other effects and color grade. And after some tweaking and moving around some of the sections, we got the completed project, which was reposted by Trump fairly quickly within an hour or two of it being uploaded, which is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. And with that, I'll see you at the next edit.